Paparazzi talking ball cards. How are you guys? Um, got a fun one. Three card, so it's gonna be quick. PSA, preview and reveal. This is going in at the regular service level. And um, that's because these are some bigger cards. $14.99 declared value limit. First up, well, let me get it out of here. This is a big one for me, guys. Finally, knocking it off. Hank Aaron rookie card. Big card for me, big purchase. Um, purchased raw on eBay. Uh, raw, as you could see. This did go through the eBay Authenticity program. It is by no means a high-end card as far as quality goes, but I do think it's worthy of a straight PSA 1. And so uh, I am working on completing the Hank Aaron um, Complete Tops run in PSA holders. So uh, this is obviously a big piece. Still a few more years from the 70s I need to grab, but those won't be challenging like this guy. So the preview, uh, you know, on this, I, yeah, I think the grade is going to be a one. At least that's my hope. You never know if PSA is going to throw in something like a min size requirement or anything like that. You don't, you just don't know. Okay, up next. Barely fits in here. This is a slightly larger card. This is a 1932 Sanella Margarine Babe Ruth Type B. There's three types on these. Uh, well, if you look at VCP, there's four types. But um, this, this is a Type B. It's from, like I said, 1932. Um, it's a decent copy, but it has some issues. And you can see a little wrinkling up there. And man, oh man, are these things thin. This is really thin paper stock here. So I honestly have no idea how this is going to be graded. I've never graded this card before. Popped up on eBay and I jumped on it at a reasonable price. And... Uh, Anyways, yeah, uh, I have no idea how they're going to grade these, guys. Um, my guess, PSA 3. That's the hope. And um, what's better than one if you got two? And man, this one is considerably nicer. Um, this is also a type B. But look at these corners. Like I said, the, the stock on these is super, super thin. I mean, it's it's essentially a piece of paper. But this one pops. The colors are sharp. The back is also clean. The back's cleaner than this other one as well. This other one has some, there's like a, some ink there or maybe some residue. Um, yeah, this one, whew, this one is a wild card for me. I know I'm gonna sound crazy, but I think this copy from 1932, I think it could get a six. So I have a chance to get a playing day's Ruth in a six. If it gets a six or anything like that, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna sell it, guys. I, uh, I need to pull some money together to get ready for the 2023 um, National. And so I think this card could fund that trip potentially um, you know, help me out a little bit with that. So yeah, that's the reveal. I'm going six on here, three on the, three on the one that has a little more issue and a PSA one for the hammering Hank Aaron rookie. This should be back in approximately 10 days. That's what PSA promises, um, at this service level. So wish me luck. Let's take a look at the grades. Well, they're back, and uh, the first things first, uh, PSA regular service turnaround, it's it's not what they post. They post 10-day turnaround. It's not close to 10-day turnaround. I don't care how you slice it. Um, it took over a month. It took, uh, it took five weeks. Five weeks this took, and so that's, that's 25 business days. Or, uh, you know, however you want to look at that, almost almost uh, 40 
regular days. So do not trust what they post on there. That is, I don't even, be don't believe it. Anyways, three cards. They're back. I know the grades. I know them. Okay. And let's just do it. Okay. Prediction on the Hammer and Hank rookie was a PSA one. Got the one. There's no real mystery here. This was as expected. A lot of corner wear, a lot of wrinkles, surface wear. But this is, um, I'm, I'm happy with this. I bought it raw. I think I paid, I think I paid $1,050 for this. It went through the eBay authentication program and it passed obviously. But it's, it's clean enough for me. I'm happy with this. Maybe upgrade it at some point. Where did I put my stands? Okay. Hank needs a stand. Okay. Up next. Uh, this is the Sinella Ruth that I predicted a VG3 on. It has this wrinkle. It got a 2. So I missed just a little bit here. That's okay. Um, it's a nice two. Little corner crease up there. as a little crease right there. I don't remember that corner crease being in it, but I, I'm sure it was. I'll take a look at the original pictures I got. But yeah, it gets a two. Happy with that. That one's going to stay in the collection. Let me put that back there. This was the one that I was kind of, uh, you know, floored. I was like, well, it's so sharp and it has decent centering. Thought it could get a six. I was hoping it'd get a six. <sighs> Seven. Seven. <laughs> a playing day's Ruth in a seven. My, oh my. Scintillating corners. Sharp enough to do surgery with. I mean, it, it, it was just, let me see if I'm getting the right focus. It's just, it's just a blazer. And I guess they didn't see anything wrong with the surface. And, you know, I think the seven, if, if this card were shifted a little bit more that way, I, you know, <laughs> I don't know, could have been, probably could have done better. I think, you know, I think this centering right here is the limitation that, that, skinny border, that thick one, you know, with a seven, you could have a three to one ratio. So this border can be three times smaller than that border or vice versa. This border can be three times fatter than that border. And so a seven, a seven <laughs> on a card from 1932. What do I do with this? Well, I, like I said, I'm going to sell it. Uh, this is going to get me all the way to the national, hopefully, and give me some, you know, give me some spending money at the national. Um, yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. When I saw the grade, I was just like, oh, <laughs> wow. Spun the PSA wheel and came up close to a jackpot. What's this one thing that I wanted to show you guys on here? Let me make sure this doesn't have any. Yeah, this doesn't have any details. Um, and I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the first video. Uh, 75 bucks per card, or in the in the pre-grade video, a $75 service. And they got some number, they got some like notes in here. I've never seen this. Uh, in regards to the Hank creased card, okay. And then for this one, it says something first. First one or first... What does that say? First, yeah, first card, C-A-R-D, has a bent edge. First one has a bent edge. I mean, yeah, this, uh, it, it, I, think, I think that was there. I'll, I'll take a look back at my video. But anyways, um, that's it. That's the first time I've seen a little chicken scratch from them on, on the things. But it, it might be because I have two of the same card on there. But then they put that this is a creased card. It's like, okay, yeah, got it. Anyways, no upcharge. That's it. Playing Days Ruth in a seven. Read it and weep. <laughs>
Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this wild ride. Babe Ruth in a seven. Paparazzi. Talking ball cards. Out.